that's a that's a heck of a win uh, against a very good basketball team. Uh, I was I was concerned because we that, that stretch at the end of the first half uh, we led 36-27. We only scored one basket. I think the last. Uh, eight or nine possessions, and, and uh, I thought we had a t a ch an opportunity there to maybe open it up. Uh, but, you know, this been a been a tough few days for us because we got, em we got embarrassed uh, because of the efficiency of Villanova's offense against our defense. And I thought tonight when the game was being decided, uh, we showed a little grit. And uh, when this team shows that, that grit and that toughness, uh, we're a different team. And let's not kid ourselves. Our offense was better as well. And, you know, we, we have to score points in this league. It's, that's how we're built. And uh, Maurice was certainly the catalyst of that tonight. Uh, but, you know, we had, we had a lot of, lot of guys step up and, and give us big minutes, you know, from Ronnie off the bench to Toby off the bench to Zach coming in and, and we made the run. Uh, James was great the first half. Uh, so, uh, you know, I played more guys, tried to get guys some rest tonight. Uh, and fortunately, it worked out. Well, you know, uh, you know, we credit Georgetown. You know, they're, you know, they're experienced, and you know, they're one of the, um, the premier teams of this league. Um, and you know, they stayed solid, and you know, they they did what they did. And, you know, and we didn't make shots. Uh, but you know, what I wanted, you know, to tell my team, and you know, what Coach Mack preached to us is that we're not going to make every shot. You know, but we have to defend, and we can't let our our offense dictate our defense. And a lot of times, that's what we do. And if we and if we miss shots, um, it tends to take away from our tenacity on defense. You know, we kind of settled down, and then uh, our crowd got into it. And, you know, that's what made us get hype. Uh, so, you know, our crowd got us pumped up, and I think that's what uh, propelled us to that, you know, to, to go on that run. I mean, we always talk about how, you know, we have so many guys that can step up and, uh, you know, I, I think a lot of people stepped up tonight and, uh, you know, my job personally and, you know, everybody that comes off the bench, you know, when we get, you know, called in to go in, you know, we got to bring a lot of energy and uh, be able to execute and that's all we try to do. Uh, I mean, you know, this last week and just kind of over the last few weeks, you know, we've talked as a team that, uh, you know, if we're going to get to go where we want to go, defense is going to be, you know, it's going to be the key. So, you know, I think just every week in practice as we, you know, work on defense and rebounding and improving, you know, I think that we're just going to have more and more success. So that just has to be the key for us. You know we're a transition team, <coughs> you know. So we so we preach, you know, stop, uh, stop, score, stop, score, uh, and 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 we can't get out in transition if we don't get stops. So you know we had active hands tonight, and uh, you know Isaiah was great. You know he had a lot of hands, uh, you know, uh, to flex some passes, uh, and you know we were able to get off to the races. Um, and when we can put pressure on the defense that way, uh, it forces them to make decisions to you know to stop me in transition or uh, to give up open three. And I think that's what makes us tough. So when we're locked in on defense like that and we can get out in transition, I think it makes us um, a tough team to guard. Well, you know, there was a couple times where, uh, you know, I, I, I had some shots that I didn't take, uh, you know, because I wanted to get some other guys involved. And, you know, that's what I do. Um, I, turn, I tend to give up shots to me uh, for my teammates. But, you know, James and Isaiah and, you know, uh, Kyrie told me, listen, 
we need you to be aggressive and we need you to score uh, and put pressure on the defense. Um, and my shot was going tonight, um, you know, and I get my confidence from my teammates. Um, so, you know, they, they put their trust in me and, um, and they see uh, all the hard work that I put in and um, they want me to be more selfish sometimes. Uh, so, you know, I tend to argue with them a lot about, you know, me not taking some shots, but, you know, um, it was going for me tonight and uh, tomorrow it could be Isaiah, the next day it could be James uh, or Cole. So, um, you know, I credit my teammates for giving me the confidence to take those shots tonight. Uh, well, you know, he came out and he made, you know, three shots at the beginning. Um, and then uh, I think Isaiah uh, got subbed. And, you know, wherever he got subbed, I switched on to him. And then when he got back in the game, you know, I asked Coach Mack to let me stay on him. Um, and he trusted me to, you know, to defend. And I think that's a big step from the beginning of the season, uh, you know, because Coach Mack used to get on me a lot about, you know, me not focusing on defense. Uh, so the fact that he trusted me to sit down and, you know, to, you know, to make things tough for him, um, you know, that showed him, you know, I like the – the faith that my coach has in me uh, to defend a great player uh, like Devontae. Uh, so I try to make things tough for him. You know, I, I try to use, you know, my size to get up under him and make things tough for him, um, you know, and I think it worked. Yeah, I mean, uh, we talked in the locker room about how, you know, in those last uh, six, seven minutes, you know, we really defended at our best. And uh, I think we just kind of proved to ourselves that, uh, you know, in the Villanova game and games to come, if we can defend like that, uh, we're going to put ourselves in a really good position to win most games. It makes us have to, you know, you know, believe in our coaches more. You know, they tell us, listen, if we do just this much more, you know, 20% more, 30% more, you know, trust yourself, you know, ha have pride, you know, then, you know, you'll get the results, you know, and I think, you know, we, we showed our tenacity that, that we have in practice every day, uh, those last six minutes. So now that, th that we showed this, we have to just transfer it to 40 minutes, and I think that'll make us a better team defensively. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've just kind of, you know, from last year to this year, you know, I've just kind of simplified things. I've just realized that, you know, if I'm out there and I play hard and I have fun, uh, most of the time good things are going to come from that. So that's usually just what I focus on. I try to be as locked into what we're doing and then just play hard. And uh, usually whatever results from that is going to be good. Yeah, you know, we've had some issues in, you know, the Arizona State game in particular where we didn't make free throws uh, over the course of the game and at the end, uh, and it ended up costing us a game. So, you know, it's uh, I've said all along, even early in the season, we were struggling shooting free throws, that this is a good shooting team and a good foul shooting team, and sometimes there's ebbs and flows to that. Uh, but, you know, we, we spent time on it, obviously, like everybody does. Probably spent a little bit more time when we got off to the tough start. Um, but you also have to be careful uh, not to talk too much about it and emphasize it too much. It's the uh, uh, last thing you wanted is in their head, and you want them, you don't want them thinking when they're shooting a free throw. You want their mind clear. But uh, you know, us getting to the line and being successful and keeping them off the line was was a huge difference in this game. You know, Govan's a tough one. You know, for the. Th three years we've played them, they've never had a center that can shoot it up top. Uh, so we've been able to use our center to plug some things up and take a lot of those back door cuts. I don't think they got one back door the entire night, which is you have, you'd be hard pressed to find a Georgetown game where they didn't. Uh, so we, we decided we we're going to make him hit one before we changed our strategy. 
we were, we were late. Uh, and in and, and, and Jeff's defense on the last one, uh, there was a hard back cut. Uh, I think Ronnie was supposed to shoot under the screen. He went over it. And if Jeff didn't stay back, they were getting a dunk. And he was just a, a, a smidge late getting up top there. So he, he's, a, he's a tough matchup from that standpoint. Uh, and Smith Rivera, you know, that's part of the reason I got Z off the floor a little bit more so we could attempt to keep a fresher guy on him. He's hard to guard. Uh, I think he's doing a better job or as good a job as he's ever done in his career of getting his teammates involved. Uh, but when the game's on the line, he usually always tries to take over, which he did tonight. And I, I thought uh, uh, WAP and Z made some great plays on him, got hands on the basketball and, and forced some turnovers there late. You know, I think he made, for, for the most part, you know, I got to go look at the film, but uh, I think he made the right reads. You know, I, I, I'm not sure they were leaving shooters uh, on a regular basis, especially when we get off to that four for five start. Uh, and they really challenged him to finish at the rim. And, you know, he, he made enough plays and enough passes out of there. Uh, but when he's coming off that ball screen at 15 feet and he can pop into that shot, that's he's really difficult to guard because that guy gets downhill uh, as good as anybody. So... Uh, really proud of him. He's worked hard. He's stayed with it. Obviously, there's there's been some growing pains uh, between him and I, and him trying to figure out our system and where his shots come from, and you know what's our offense all about. And he's 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 continuing to grow and get better. And uh, you know he he certainly looked like he belonged out there tonight. He was he was the best player on the floor. Well, you try to give him space, and then you give him space, and then he's got to make decisions. And, you know, for the most part, uh, he made good decisions. And, you know, he's still spraying it and making some good decisions. We didn't make threes uh, at the rate that I think we're capable of. If you told me they were going to make 11 we were going to make eight, I would have guessed we might have been in trouble. Um, but he, he's picking his spots. You know, thir you know, 27 points on 13 shots is pretty efficient basketball. Uh, and, and then, you know, I told him uh, walking down here, the seven rebounds is huge. You know, just being able to have your point guard get that rebound and start your break, there's no better fast break in the world. Uh, and, you know, Austin got good at that last year where he'd go in and clean up uh, after the big guys had sealed. And, and uh, I thought Maurice did a good job of that tonight. Well, we, when Campbell was in the game, uh, we were going to have him on Campbell and and uh, Isaiah on on Smith Rivera. Uh, number one to keep Maurice out of foul trouble. Uh, we have obviously more depth at the two than we do at the one. Uh, so, but when they went bigger, it was difficult. They were going to run him into the post on Copeland or one of those guys or Peak if we put him on there. So we pretty much had to put him on Smith Rivera uh, when they went with that lineup. And then he was he was doing a good job on him. So when they went back in, I just decided to leave him there. And, and you know, we had a couple switches where Z switched on him. Toby switched on him a couple of times. He did a great job. Jeff stayed with him on a ball screen late uh, when WAP got hit up top on the ball and got almost got knocked down. So it, that, that last six or seven minutes, our team defense was really good. And we had guys in the right spot doing the right things. And, you know, then we finished it with a rebound. You know, I was disappointed in, in our performance Saturday, but, you know, as you as you go back and watch the film, uh, we, we had some matchup nightmares in that game. And and to to Jay Wright's credit, he, he, he pretty much tried to exploit it <laughs> almost every time. So, and they, they have the experience to do that. You know, they have the guys that, that have been around enough that they can do that. Uh, and, you know, and then they, they got some shots at the rim, but they also had a lot of 17 to 12 footers with hands in their face, and it was one of those nights. Uh, and we were also 5 of 23 from the three. So as time went on, and I, and I probably had a chance to really absorb what happened, uh, I was careful not to push a panic button. You know, it, it, we're, we were, be we're better than that defensively. We're better than that offensively. And yet it was a six or seven point game with nine minutes to go. So, uh, you know, you, you try to take some things that 
we did well and uh, and build on some things that we struggled with. And, you know, I watched some film with some guys that struggled, and uh, I thought they were better tonight. Yeah, I mean, anytime you, you're starting on the road in the Big East, I don't care who you're playing. Uh, we'd never wanted St. John's. Uh, and then you, you know, Villanova and Georgetown, I think we're pick one, two, or one, three in the in the league schedule coming out. So you, you're staring that in the face. Uh, and, y you know, you just have to protect your home floor if you're going to have a chance to succeed in this league. Uh, and, you know, I think it, the league is showing with, you know, Marquette going to Providence and winning tonight. Uh, that anything can happen in this league. There's 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 quality of depth of teams in this league that you you can't. There aren't any off nights. There really aren't. Uh, so for us to get a a win against a team like Georgetown, who you know went to Maryland and lost in the last 30 seconds and went head to head with Duke the entire game and lost it in the end. Uh, it, it's it's a great win for us and it's a it's a confidence builder and especially the way it happened. You know, for us, they only I know, scored on two of their last 13 possessions. And the confidence that our guys can gain from being able to do that against a good team hopefully can, again, help us to slowly move this group forward. Uh, you know, I, I, I really like what Ronnie gave us off the bench. Uh, obviously, James came off the bench. You know, Toby and Cole, we kind of split 50-50 tonight. Uh, and, you know, neither of them had as good of offensive game as, as they're capable. And then, you know, Zach continues to do good things. So, uh, you know, I'm gaining more confidence in our bench. I don't think that probably James and Ronnie have played hardly any minutes at the two and three together this year. And they were out there for a good stretch in the first half and some good things happened. So, uh, you know, hopefully that gives them more confidence and, and more of an eagerness to continue to work and get better. Uh, on the practice floor, and and certainly as a coaching staff, it gives us a, a little bit more comfort level uh, when you see things happen that transpired tonight. It's huge. It's 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 really important. You know, to any any offense we can create with our defense is, it's a bonus. We're not the longest, biggest team in the world, so we're, we don't get a lot of length and athleticism type turnovers that we force. Ours need to be more uh, intelligent turnovers. You know, Isaiah leads us in steals, and it's not because he's running and jumping that fast. He just he anticipates. Uh, so you know that was huge. But you know, I I was looking today. I was comparing a little bit the last couple of years. You know, last year at this time, after 15 games, we were shooting a little over 41% on offense, and we were giving up 43.4%. This year we're shooting 50%, giving up 45%, which is worse. You know, <laughs> you know, we've got a chance to improve the defense. Sometimes you either have offensive players or you don't. Uh, so I, I think we can work and continue to get better on the defense. But, you know, when you can't score, uh, you can pull your head out, hair out all day trying to figure out ways to get baskets, and they're hard to come by. Uh, Doug's senior year, I think at this point in the season, we were giving up 41%, and we're shooting 47 or 48%. So the, it was a 5 or 6% difference, just like it is now. So we need to continue to grow our offense and, and continue to be, you know, nine turnovers against Georgetown is pretty darn good. Uh, and then just, just slowly, you know, as I've told the team, we, d we don't necessarily need to thrive defensively. We need to survive defensively. And if we can do that and, and keep our offense moving forward and, and keep playing together, uh, you know, we're going to have a chance to have more nights like this. Thank you.